Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Let's talk about R18 today. So obviously they have a lot of flashy new updates. They have the new Voronoi Fracture, which everybody's enjoying. They have a lot of uh, great features. They've also made a lot of very small updates, but little ones that have made a big uh, difference in your workflow, and they're very useful. So I wanna talk to you about the cloner today, and a couple really um, kind of small upgrades, but they're very, very useful. Uh, so the first one is, let's go ahead and make a grid array, and we'll take our cube and make it a little bit smaller. So before, if we've made a grid array, and we want to add uh, clones to this, the spacing of all of these clones changes. So if we add them, you can see that they intersect each other. So if we wanted to add five and then some over here, now we have to go in and start modifying our endpoint. We have to either kind of try to figure out which yellow handle to drag out, or we have to go into our size. And every time you want to add a clone, you have to go in and redo this, which is really frustrating. Um, but now we have a new feature in R18 so that you don't have to do this. All you have to do is set your spacing and then we have this mode, and now they have this um, endpoint or per step. So if you switch this to per step, and now you add a clone, you can see that the spacing stays exactly the same, which is really, really handy, and is actually a really big time saver. It's something that I've been uh, really annoyed with in the past, and now it is fixed, so that is awesome. So definitely make sure you check out that mode and change that to per step if you want to, uh, to not have to kind of fiddle with that all the time. Uh, the other thing that we have in Cloner is now under Mode, we have Honeycomb Array, which is a very useful addition as well. Let's just start with a new cube in here, and let's make it a little bit like a brick shape. So the Honeycomb Array is uh, basically going to offset every other clone, which is really helpful to make things like a brick pattern. So we can change the offset of every other clone just like this. And if we do that, we can make a nice brick wall pretty easily. And just like before, we have the count width and height, which are now automatically respecting the spacing. But in this case, we probably want to change that back to endpoint. And then we can sort of fill in the clones like this so we can get a brick wall. And then once we get the spacing set how we want it, we can switch that back to per step. And now if we add more bricks, it will respect the spacing. So the honeycomb also has that per step, which is very handy. And obviously, since it's called the honeycomb uh, cloner, we have to make a honeycomb to drop in there. And then we'll have something like this. So this is a more obvious application of the honeycomb effect, obviously, but um, you can do things like brick or any kind of pattern that has an offsetting clone and everyone, every other one needs to be offset. So, all right, there you go. Just a couple quick tips on R18 and some new features in the cloner. Hope that helps you guys out. And thank you as always for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.